Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be going to space. And I mean deep space. Alright, so there's tons of stuff for us to do today. Um, we have to go to some more planets, but this is probably going to be our last episode on our space um, series. So our space part of this pack. Um, I think after the space age, we're going to be going into the mechanical age. Um, so, we are, like, at the end. Um, as you can see, down here it says there are four different planets in your solar system. You can go to a different solar system where every planet will have our f all four ores, but in a rare quantity. So, and also says, on a side note, there are also two moons in our solar system that can fulfill the needs for titanium if you run out. So that's always a good thing. Um, we will definitely need a bunch of titanium um, here soon, so that's something we're going to have to do. By the way, I figured out this uses 10 RF per tick, basically, to run this little handheld thing. So it doesn't use much at all. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to go to the moon. Um, or not go to the moon. Go to another solar system. And we do have some dilithium. I think, or DI. That we need to get processing, because uh, we're going to grab some more before we head up there. Um, I mean, getting to another planet now is really easy. Um, there's like no rush for us to really do this, but I just want to get these out of the way. Um, so, so like, we don't have to go back there anymore. Yeah, we have tons of dilithium. I don't think we have to worry about dilithium for a while. Um, I think we're going to be good there. But yeah, we can go ahead and jump right on in to uh, our space station. And this is how we get to our space station. And it works on no matter what planet it's currently in. Um, as you can see, it says, warning, there's no, no oxygen detected. You know, that thing pops up real big. But we don't start taking damage. Um, I'm, I still don't understand why we don't take damage. I don't know. But we can put on our space suit. Just to calm it. Calm it. Um, so yeah, I have not filled my spacesuit with oxygen in a while, and as you can see, it's still relatively full. It's like not a big deal at all. Um, I think this guy is basically full as well. Yeah, it's pretty much still full. Um, so this will just go in our chest over here. Probably make, make this, um, chest. I tried to get an oxygen things to work. I could not figure it out for the life of me, so I decided just not to worry about it. Seems like we're doing fine with the oxygen that we, that we currently have. Okay, so I did go back to home home base and our own planet. Um, so in this ep last episode, we went to um, Mercury. Um, I'm pretty sure we need to go to Venus, Uranus, and I don't know. I'm sh it may tell us what planets we need to go to. I'm not actually sure. Um, let me do a double check before I just start going to random planets. All right, let's go ahead and take a look ourselves in our guide and we'll see that we need um tantalum, I think it's pronounced tantalium, T A N T A. And we need the ore this stuff from modern... Okay, so that's on Aries. So let's go ahead and go to Aries. Let's find Aries. We have Mars. Ceres. Neptune. Pluto. Um, is Aries a moon? Or is it... It should be a planet. There's Aries. Really small. Kind of hard to see, but it's right here. And let's work. Okay, so we're orbiting Earth. Fuel cost one. What? I selected Aries. Didn't I? Where'd it go? It's like in the top band here. Pretty sure I selected it. That's Pluto. Don't want to go to Pluto. There it is. Aries. There we go. Now we can warp. And it requires quite a bit, actually, to get there. 296 fuel cost. 
Um, good thing our warp core is pretty much full. Um, and, oh, we can travel while we're warping. Alright, so we're on the planet. Look at this. Looks like a moon. Yeah, it doesn't use, like, as much as I thought. I thought the fuel cost was definitely going to be more than that, but we're definitely good there. Okay, so we need to get back on our ship, fly up there, and, uh, see what's going on. Alright, so we just gotta hop in our ship and make sure it's fueled. Um, we're definitely clear for liftoff. Let's go. Looks pretty good. It looks like the... There's no sound, it sounds like, from our rocket. We're definitely flying, though. I don't like lifting off the space station because it's so odd. It just seems very weird. Because uh, the planet's moving. So it seems like we're kind of just floating. And not actually heading towards the planet. Yeah, we're about to... As soon as the altitude hits all the way, then we basically warp to the planet. Okay. Well, let's descend this bad boy. And I don't know if it's... I guess it's a lot faster to descend on the rocket than it is to descend by yourself. Because it seems like we fall pretty slow. There we go. Awesome. This looks like another planet like the moon. Um, looks like, yeah, it looks just like the moon almost. There's even the, uh, the wintry hives here. Which, I guess, saves us. Okay, so station one would be our go back to. Okay, it's pretty dark on this planet as well. Um, alright, uh, I don't know why I even have those on me. There we go, let's put those back in there. Um, let's make sure that our pick has its upgrades. It does. And I guess we're going to go on another mining trip. Actually, I need to go ahead and grab my Null Charm. And in the Null Charm, let's go ahead and put Moon Turf as it as well. And we can go ahead and throw these out. Perfect. Alright, so this is Moon Turf, so it's like the same. It's pretty dark here, though. Kind of debating. Should I put my helmet on? I'm gonna take damage, but yeah, I'm gonna put my moon helmet on. And wait, this has a lot of health points, so we can use that here in a minute. Um, I don't know if the visor is what makes you see in the dark. I don't know. We're looking for a specific ore, and it's probably way down at the bottom. Let's take a look. Um, it's between Y level. Like, starts at 50, goes down into the 30s. The highest is going to be around 30. So I'm checking my Y level. And we're already in the 40s, so we should be coming on it right now. Here we go. We hit the ore that we actually need. Bam. I'll take all of that. Thank you. Yeah, it seems like the ore is pretty nice here. Um, you could travel, like it said, to the uh, other solar systems and... Those solar systems will actually, uh, they should contain all of them. All four of the ores. Okay, while we're down here, I can, that's when I probably put my helmet on. Why not? We're just going to take some awful damage. No big deal. Man, yeah, this is painful. Let's, uh, let's not do this. Let's put our helmet back on. Ow. Alright, how much of this stuff do we have? Osmium, we got 35 of it. It's not bad. Um, do we need to go higher up or something? It's kind of hard to see as well. There's some more of it. Yeah, these are really big veins of this ore. So yeah, I'm really liking this. It's going to make it a lot easier. I'm assuming like a couple stacks of this is not going to be, it's going to get us by, so. Um, didn't say how much of the stuff we're going to need, but we definitely have access to it. We got plenty. Um, we only have a few more places to go. Um, and then we should be good. Um, do I have another spot for this? I do. Seems like it's a pretty hard ore to break. I haven't even looked to see what this stuff is used for. 
But this is one of the planets down. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of others. We should have two more planets to visit, and I think we can probably go ahead and do that. Um, I don't know what's faster. Uh, well, we have to actually take our spaceship back to the base, don't we? Yes, I'm pretty sure we do. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our old-fashioned pillar up, and I'll meet you guys back at the space station. All right, so we have tons of stuff to go ahead and send back to our system. And then we can go ahead and go to our next planet. All right, we actually need to figure out what our next planet's going to be. Oh boy, here comes the smoke. Let's actually get in our control room. There we go. Okay, um, let's check our book again. We need a uh, zirconium. So basically like, di like diamonds. All right, so here's our zirconium, or zirconium ore is on Mars. So we need to go to Mars. Select our planet. Um, Mars should be close to the sun. Like really close. Where's it at? Mars. There we are. Select Mars. It's actually a pretty cheap fuel cost. So let's warp. I love the uh, warping animation. You guys gotta enjoy that. It's pretty satisfying. But yeah, we kind of just warp for a minute and bam, we are on Mars. Not exactly what I expected Mars to look like, but uh, we're definitely in Mars, apparently. Yep, we're on Mars. Okay, so we're going to have to take our spaceship there again. And uh, just kind of hop on and go for the ride. Oh. There we go. Let's go ahead and hop on. All right, and we'll head to Mars. All right, I'll meet you guys when we get there. All right, so we are now falling to Mars. And yet again, it looks a lot like the moon. As you can see, moon turf. Definitely like the moon. And let's go ahead and sort our stuff. Um, that's pretty cool. You can see the other planets right there. Where's Earth? We should be able to see Earth, but I don't see it at the moment. Earth is like, should be really huge in comparison to it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and dig another quarry down. Let's just go straight down. And hopefully we can find something. This planet's actually bright, so we don't have a problem with that. Um, what level was this? Um, so around the 40s, we'll start seeing it in the 70s. We should start seeing it now. Um, it's also kind of gray, kind of dark, um, and looks just like stone almost. So that is a thing. I'm not liking that mine shaft that's going straight down. Usually they go straight to lava. Oh, it's looking pretty good. It's not looking bad. We're still doing pretty good. Um, I don't know if I've gotten any of the stuff. There we go. We got some of it. It looks like we're getting it. This right here. See how hard it is to tell? Like, you can barely see that. But yeah, that's definitely some of the stuff that we need. And I don't want to go any further down because I think it stops at 40. Yeah, right, right in the 40s, right in here. That's where we need to be. We need to mine this like there's no tomorrow. Um, probably just make a giant straight line as far as we can. And hopefully obtain as much of that stuff as we possibly can. Um, it's probably going to be our best bet. There we go. How much have we got so far? Only 18. So this this is, uh, you know, not so profitable. Doing this mining. We should get some. 23 now. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to take some time. I'm going to mine some more of this up. Hopefully get above a stack, at least a stack of this stuff. And uh, then we'll move on to our next planet. So I'll meet you guys back on the station when I get some uh, more mined up. Okay, so I did get me a stack and 10. Um, that was a lot of mining. I actually had to do a rather large space. Um, I mean, it was pretty pretty big. It was like a 25 um, across and we, I went back, no telling how far back. I, I really didn't count. Um, but I know it was at least 25 wide. 25 blocks wide. But yeah. Um, I think I can go ahead and put all of this stuff away. 
Um, I really am only interested in the one ore. Everything else I'm not too concerned about. All right, so now we need to find the other planet. Okay, so our last planet is Cadium. Let's find Cadium. What planet is Thalus Cadium on? Okay, so it's on Neptune. So we're looking around 20 to 32, so pretty deep. Pretty deep down. So let's find Neptune. Mercury, Uranus, Neptune. Awesome. And warp. Gotta love it. I love how you can even walk between the ships while you're warping. I mean, that's, that's a really nice animation. And like, it's seamless. It's completely seamless. Okay, so we gotta get back on our ship. Get back on our ship and thus fly to our space, or fly to Neptune. Let me go ahead and hop on here. Uh, fly to Neptune. Um, and fill this bad boy up. There we go. And I, it looks like we're not flying, but we are. If you watch the Y level, it'll start increasing rapidly real soon. And we'll be in the 700s and Y level before you know it. Yeah, I'm, uh, it seems like all the textures are the same. For like Neptune and you would think that Mars would have an orange like turf, but it didn't. It had moon turf, so I don't... I don't know. Ooh, I like that. You can see the planet right there. And we're falling to what looks like another moon turf. And it does say it's the moon. Um, okay. <laughs> it says biome moon. Even though this is a planet. Yeah, it just loads another moon yet again. And we have more of the same stuff. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It kind of just seems like a grab thing. Yeah, I like the that right there. Yeah, it seems like the farther out we go, the darker the planet is. And uh, darker planets kind of are a pain. Those two honestly need to be done as well. So I think we need to go down to what was it, 30? Um, 19 to 30. So we gotta go way down. I found a faster way to get up. I don't know why I wasn't using it earlier, and that's using my uh, staff to teleport out. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. What color is it? This one looks just like the stone as well. So this is probably gonna be another fun one to find, especially in the dark with no torches or anything like that. Ow. Ooh. That would have been a fall. Okay, so I think I need to figure this out. Um, I don't want to fall down there. So, all right, let's just go across. Are we almost at the level we need to be at? Um, I almost died. That would have been awful. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Um, okay, let's mine down. Kind of scared of mine down now because I don't want to fall into one of these. Where does this go? Okay, it looks like it's just a ravine, so we're probably good over here. Let's go ahead and get this area kind of cleared out. There we go, I think we'll be good here. And we gotta go down to Neptune size. All right, 19 to 30, right? 19 to 30, we're almost there, almost there. Nineteen. We're fixing it at thirty. It's gonna be pretty dark to be able to see anything. Let's see, can we get torches? Good, I have some torches. Not what I wanted to do. Can't use torches. Ah. I thought that might be a thing, but I didn't know. Okay, are we getting anything yet? We don't have any of the ore that we're actually looking for yet. And we should be coming down to the level below 30. And all should be around the same 
All right, this should be a good Y level to kind of just mine off of. I just want to get some and what does it kind of look like this? It looks like that. I haven't seen any yet. Is this the stuff? There we are. We got our cadmium. Awesome. So I'm going to do some more mining and uh it looks like we got we found a nice little ore there or vein. Nice. All right, so we're getting some um, I just gotta do some more mining, and uh, I will meet you guys back at the space station. Alright guys, so I am back, and I have now completed all of the different ones that we needed. So I got two, so basically a stack and a half almost of the cadmium that we needed. So I can just send all of that here, and we'll send that all back home. So let's get things sorted up here, so I can easily find everything. Um, yeah, uh, the torches of course did not work. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. All right, so our smoke's kind of building up. Um, we can honestly leave it here. I think I want to warp us to Titan before we leave. Uh, it's on one of the moons, so it should tell you that there's a moon. Um, so Earth has a moon. Saturn has a moon. And, of course, there's Titan on Saturn. So let's warp to Titan. It's a fuel cost of 50. Oop, let's make sure we get there. Titan, select, and let's warp. Okay, so we're going to warp to Titan, um, and supposedly there's a bunch of titanium on Titan, and we're going to need that titanium um, for our future. I mean, we have a bunch now, but we just don't have nowhere near the amount that we're actually going to need. But uh, I'll go ahead and meet you guys down on the planet. All right, guys, so we are now falling onto Titan, um, which is a moon. Uh, and this is a little bit different. Um, it looks like there's giant craters in the surface of Titan. Um, yet again, this is a dark planet. It does have that moon-like gravity. Um, but there are these things. Let's see. Um, Titan. I'm guessing it's going to be a part of modern modern metals. Is there... Okay, there's these guys. I'm not seeing... Anything else? Okay. Titanium. All right. Let's look at the ore. Is there an ore? Should be. It's not showing up in this list. Correct. It did say there was a way to get it though, and it was said it was here on Titan. Okay. Ow. I'm surprised that would hurt. I guess you would, you know, your gravity would propel you down, but... Okay, so there's a big crater here. I guess we can just start mining. And, of course, that was moon. So, yeah, we'll just start mining. Hopefully not fall in a giant pit. Kind of monitoring, seeing what things we find. Um, because, like I said, I'm not really seeing titanium. This is the tit ti or titanium that we use. Um, we get that just saying the dust. Okay, that comes from that. This is titanium ingots. That's the only way to get that. I'm missing something. I'm not seeing an ore. But it did say you can get tit titanium from, I'm guessing, this planet. Don't know what level though, and how rare it is. This is tin. Okay, so we're we're falling down into a hole. Didn't take any damage. That's a plus. Let's we'll continue mining down, and hopefully find uh find some. That's lead, or bauxite. Okay. Oops. Mine, didn't mine that like I was supposed to. All right, we're getting pretty low. Osmium. 
I hear lava. It's always concerning. Aha. And there's our lava. Okay. Um, so I didn't really see any. Titanium ore. We're almost to bedrock. Yeah, we're at bedrock. Okay. Let me take a look um, in our book. It does say down at the very bottom. Um, as a side note, there are also two moons on the solar system um, that can fulfill your needs of titanium if you run out. So when we search for titanium, we have two different kinds here. Titanium. These are two different blends of titanium. Is a titanium ingot. There we are. Titanium ore. It doesn't show we can get this ore. You know, I'm just wondering, is it disabled? I mean, it says it right there in the book, though. Have I came across it yet? No, I haven't. I mean, there should be some. It does say it right there in the book. So it's kind of confusing me. Is there's I can't really find it. Um, there are two moons in our solar system that can fulfill the needs of titanium. Is it something that's like locked? Let me see. Let's go to hiding mode off. All right. Like, there's nothing but these panels that are hidden. And armor and stuff. There's this ore. Hmm. But that's the ore that shows up. You know, I just, I don't know. When you go to search for it, I mean, if he says it's in here, it should be here, but I'm just I'm not finding it. For one thing, I'm mining quite a bit. I mean, if I have to mine an incredibly large area to be able to find some, and if it's like diamond, I may not even bother. I may just continue doing it the way I've been doing it. I'm not really finding anything in particular. No, all looks the same. Yeah, I'm just... Huh. I want to be able to see what Y level it is. Oh, it's this stuff. I bet. No? Rutile ore? Um... It doesn't even show you can get rutile ore. Nope, doesn't show anything about it. We don't have anything that looks like that. And I mean, titanium, this is what we're going to be going for. I mean, I see, I see rutile and I see this. That's going to be the only two ores. Titanium dust. It's nothing we're going after. I mean, it could be a possibility that we're just not high enough or at the right level. Could be that we need to be on this level. I don't know. Well, it's pretty dark here. So you guys can't really see. This is why level 34. You know what? I'm... I'm I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna hop on the Discord real quick. I'm gonna ask around and see what Y level this stuff spawns at, and if we're at the right, uh, right moon, because uh, it should be Titan that this this moon has that stuff on. So 
All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we are back home. Um, I did get on the Discord, and I did look, and it, they said that this Rutile War, which is what we needed to be looking for, um, was between uh, 1, Y level 1, and 16. So, and you need to be looking for an ore that looks like this. It almost looks like iron ore. Um, but it's definitely not iron ore. I had to come back to the base because I ran out, but um, honestly, I wasn't finding too much of this stuff. Um, I th uh, the XML data says that there's only two veins per chunk. And uh, if it's between those Y levels, you could be looking for this stuff for a while. Um, I didn't see too much of it, but uh, I might have to go back later and uh, if we need it. Because there are a few ways of getting uh, doubling it. I think there's even a way of quadrupling it. We look at what this is for. One of these powders, um, if we mi mix it with a powdered magnesium, uh, or the magnesium dust anyways, um, you get the magnesium dust through the industrial centrifuge here, and uh, you need you get this stuff from uh, marble dust. So um, you can also get it from the industrial electrolyzer, um, the pederite or pederite dust, the uh, the other emerald, the green emerald. Um, you get this one by grinding up this stuff. How do you get this dust? Can you get it from this? Yes. You get it from grinding up the dust. So yeah, we can get it from that as well. Um, there's a few ways, and then basically that would quadruple. That would uh, yeah quadruple our output. Um, I did put one of them inside this. Uh, our blast furnace over here, the one that's part of advanced rocketry sky. I put one in there and it did give us the ingot. Uh, it seemed like it didn't take too long, um, but it did give us one ingot and it processes it automatically. So we don't have to put it through the blast furnace, but honestly, I think putting it through the blast furnace is, is the fastest way anyways. Um, we are making, I mean, we do have quite a bit of titanium, I think. We have 99 titanium. I mean, it's going to be enough to get us into the next age, for sure. And uh, I just need to process some more. I really need to get more uh, titanium. I think I'm out of uh, cells. That's the only thing preventing us from going further. I really need to get these hydrogen cells um, and put them in the filter here. Right? Let's compress air cell, hydrogen cell. It needs to be set to... Extract hydrogen. There we go. And so this is going to fix that problem. So it's just going to go ahead and it's going to empty out all these hydrogen cells. And uh, we're going to start processing our stuff again. So, uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did make it up to the uh, ultimate hybrid. Um, I just didn't show it on camera. That's just keeping that thing running. Um, I went ahead and did it the, uh, the way with the uranium and uh, all that good stuff. I went ahead and made it. Just but man, um, this guy is also an uh, industrial centrifuge. It's hooked to the cabling up here. It didn't have to have anything behind it, because I've already put stuff in here to test stuff out. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all right. So it does its job. Um, we can definitely put some marble in there and uh, work on doubling. I don't know why I keep doing this. I, I keep forgetting that I have that tablet on me. So marble. We have a little bit of marble, I have to say. Should we be able to throw marble in there, correct? Oh, that's into the industrial grinder. What what was it? Let me look. This right here. We can double it. Right here and get titanium blend. Oh wait, titanium? No, we can't. Titanium blend's not used for... Oh, yes it is. Makes a titanium ingot. So yeah, that's a way to quadruple right here. We need the uh, magnesium dust, industrial centrifuge, marble dust. We get marble dust from putting it into an industrial grinder with no fluid. So let's take the marble out here, put the marble in here. Doesn't need any fluid for this to process. So 
So I got all of our bauxite. Uh, I got so much bauxite in here. I really need to clear a lot of this out. Uh, honestly, do I need that much aluminum? Probably not. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. There we go. And this is all backed up. It just needed more of those cells. I think we got plenty here. Oh man, I, I really want this to start grinding up, but it's not. Let me split this. There we go. Now it's going to do what it needs to do. Perfect. Give me, give me those small, small guys right here. All right, so marble dust. This will go in here, and this will do a thing. Then we can grind up, grind up some of the other stuff, and we can basically quadruple our output. So I guess getting this stuff could be useful, but still, it requires a big process, whereas this is already automated, so I don't really have to worry about it too much, I just let it run. Yeah, we're already getting a bunch of this marble dust. And there's our magnesium dust, and that's exactly what we need. So let's get, uh, I guess we need our grinder. We can go ahead and grind the, grind this stuff up. Since we can use our big grinder over here, might as well use our crusher. Just crush one of those up. Should give us two. And then we can take this and should be able to mix it. And we get two titanium blend. So that just doubled our output. Or trip or quadrupled our output right there. How cool is that? And then we should be able to just cook this down in the electric furnace. Correct? No? Can we not? What is this used for? Alloy furnace? It's just not ordict in there, so it won't work in the electric furnace. It won't work in that furnace either. Ooh. Maybe we can't do that. Um, titanium blend can be turned into chrome dust. An arc furnace? Is that something that we need to put it through? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Doesn't hurt to try. It probably has to go through the arc furnace. Oh, those were those need to be whitelisted. Or blacklisted, sorry. These need to be blacklisted. There we go. That is a oops. And titanium dust is going in there. Hop, ah, titanium blend. Yeah, it works in the it works in the furnace. Okay. So yeah, it does work. Then throw this in here. Look at all that aluminum. Do we need that much aluminum? There we go. It does work. So yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, loved exploring space with me, please over to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.